My name is Billy, this is Sierra, and this is our dog Jetty, and this is Adrenaline, our full-time floating home and office. Join us as we sail, surf, swim, dive, fish, and kiteboard through new and exotic places every day. Make sure you subscribe below and sit back and enjoy. Wait, should we do it the fast way? What's the fast way? See, so much faster. That's like a little uh, local fisherman marina boatyard area, a little tiny place. And the guy was super, super nice and he let us tie our dinghy up over there. It was getting a little busy at the boat ramp and that's not the most secure place like where we were tying it up before. So we found this other little spot. So this is right where I dropped the GoPro yesterday. I'm so mad. But it's low tide and the water's a little bit clearer, so I'm gonna walk in and see if I can find it. It's really rocky, so I'm, uh, I don't know. I bet you it like got wedged in a rock somewhere where I dropped it, hopefully. Well, the current's moving pretty good in here right now. I don't know if I'm gonna find it. It's a long, it's a long shot. Maybe, maybe we'll get really lucky. It's bad enough to lose the camera. It's like 400 bucks or 450 for this GoPro 7, but what's almost almost as bad is losing all the footage that was on it. I don't know, I, don't, I can't really see that well. I could be stepping right over it and not even be seeing it. All right, we're gonna come back tomorrow. Try to find this thing, snorkel a little. Maybe, maybe. I can like just barely not see. I know. I think we should come back tomorrow early with the mask and snorkel. Did I relax? Good girl. Yeah. I don't know what the heck this place is. I saw it on a satellite. This is like a big river, and we talked to our friends the other day, and they said that it's like kind of like drainage from the mountains and stuff, but. It's a big straight like man-made looking river. According to like the satellite it just looks like super straight just lined with rocks the whole way up like going under the highway and everything. This is where Sierra's family is staying and it was really hard to plan where we could have the boat and they can stay and then we could be able to pick them up by dinghy and go sailing and stuff like that. It's really difficult especially places we've never been before and in our head like there's islands way over there and from like the satellite and what we can gather like on our charts and stuff we could anchor all the way over there be sheltered and i thought we might be able to be sheltered enough by this rock jetty to to do some beach pickups and drop offs but it's just a little too sporty for that right here in this spot early in the morning it'd probably be fine before the wind picks up but it's not really going to work out well besides then we're going to stay anchored over there in ponce i think like right in the right in front of the yacht club. It's very protected, a little bit crowded, a little bit busy, but it's still fine. And there's some docks there, easy enough to pick up and drop off. Sierra's family. And for us to go exploring with them, uh, especially if we can lock up at that fisherman dock, that seems like a safe and secure spot to lock our dinghy. Those guys seem really cool, so. Here's the hotel they're staying at right here. Just met up with Sierra's family real quick, and they have a rental car here, and we're gonna go to a waterfall today. So if we keep sand off the dinghy, it keeps sand off the boat, so we try to keep the dinghy as clean as possible. It's a little dirty right now, but. <laughs> yeah, notice that whole coffee yeah. slime? Yeah. Jenny's like, but there's big fish in there. You're a really fast swimmer. 
So the fishing dock where we can keep the dinghy is also like a tarpon feeding area. You can buy a bag of sardines for a dollar. So my sister's on it, she's trying to make some friends. Look at all these fish. Oh my goodness. Are those your friends over there, Jetty? Did you make some friends? Yeah. You guys know her? She looks a little familiar. Well, she looks kind of like me. <laughs> yeah. They look at you. They literally watch you. You're soaking up the love, Jetty Bean. Hey puppy, hi there, where'd you come from? What you doing? Hi. Hi, doggy. Are you following us? Are you following us? Come on, let's go to the waterfall. Whoa. This is cool. Just getting to the waterfall. Really neat, neat spot. Hike through the jungle. We got our little friend here. <laughs> Careful. Is it cold, Sydney? Really? Are you going in? Well, we gotta reintroduce them. You have to go out there. Yeah, Dad's watching the video. You gotta see yourself on the video. Jetty looks very concerned. This is for me. <laughs> 
this is like the local happening spot on Sunday. <laughs> it's a it's a neat spot. I wish we run our charcoal barbecue. Yeah, I know. Right? Check the waterfall off our list in Puerto Rico. The local waterfall. The local waterfall, where the locals go. One of our, our friends now, who's been watching our videos, Orlando and his girlfriend, they sent us a whole list of like the good, awesome things to do here in Ponce. So we're slowly trying to do as much as we can. Yeah, this is the waterfall he recommended that he would go to. It's pretty close to where we were in Ponce and definitely like a cool little spot. And we're super happy we came here. So. Insert photo of us all hanging out here. I think uh, we're gonna get some local lunch. Yeah. I might have to. We might have to Instagram message Orlando and see where where he would eat. Daddy. Did you guys have fun? Yeah, that was very exciting. <laughs> Chinese food in Puerto Rico. There's a lot of them. How was it? It was good. It was interesting. It was just hard because they didn't have a menu, so we were like trying to like listen to what she was explaining. It's it's always at least a little bit of a surprise what we're gonna get. I thought it was really good. I know, it's pumping, huh? That place is packed, man. We were wondering why, where everyone was this morning. It was not crowded at all. It filled in. Sunday. We hope you guys enjoyed that video. Real quick, we just want to let you guys know, we're going to be at the Annapolis Boat Show. And we're not just going to be there. We're going to be doing some fun stuff. We're going to have a bunch of meetups, and we're also doing uh, what we're calling Tula's Treasure Trek. We're going to be there Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're going to have a meetup with Highfield at the Annapolis Inflatables booth. We'll have all the information on a page on our website and the link will be right in the description, right down there. So check it out. But a little bit more about our treasure hunt. We have four places for you guys to go. So we have a bunch of sponsors on board to make this possible. At those booths, check out what they have. You can let them know you're a part of Tula's Treasure Check. You'll pick up a prize for from us. So we have uh, the face shields at one of the stations and then at the three other places, there's some really cool uh, Tula design stickers. You guys will get a kick out of them. If you collect all those prizes, you can attend one of the meetups at the Annapolis Inflatables booth with Highfield and you will get a limited edition Tula's Treasure Trek t-shirt. You guys will like them and they're free if you can collect all four prizes and bring them and hang out with us. There are only 100 available so first, first come first serve. First come first serve. We're also doing a patron meetup one of the mornings so if you guys want a little bit like a Okay. Super secret information, go to Patreon. They're getting coffee and donuts and all the deluxe stuff. So. And if you guys are a patron, make sure you're checking your patron messages or the patron Facebook group so uh, you're aware of when that meetup is and where it is. So we just want to give a huge thank you and shout out to all our sponsors involved in this event. Thank you Highfield for hosting all of our meetups at the Annapolis Inflatable booth, as well as Mantis Marine, Siren Marine, Weems and Plath, Keen Footwear, who will be featured at the Fawcett's booth, Raw Elements, Free Sun Shields, who has so kindly created our very own custom sun shield to provide as a gift, one of the prizes for you guys. And last but not least, Sandy Pony Donuts, who will be providing all of the coffee and donuts for our patron-only meetup. So thank you again to all those sponsors, and thank you to you guys. We hope to see you at the boat show. Let us know in the comments if you're going to be there, and if so, which day. And we can't wait to see you. Thank you guys, as always, for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.